Hey guys, it is Dr. Eric here, or Dr. Prodigy, and we're going to do some more third grade things um, with shapes. We do have a wizard watch. I am playing as first mate Devin, and let's see what we've got in store for us for our third grade shapes. All right. All right, we're looking at which of the following is similar to quadrilateral is a similar quadrilateral. Now, in the other videos, we talked about that technically these are congruent, which is a special type of similar, um, mainly because these sides right here and these sides match. So um, they're both parallelograms. That's why we want to pick letter A. But I do want you to know the difference. Similar means same shape. And it can either mean same size or smaller or larger. So kind of like if you've ever looked at a phone and zoomed in on a picture, that would be similar. Your eye would be similar. Your eye is still your eye. It's just bigger or smaller. So technically those two shapes are also congruent because congruent is it's the same shape and the same size. All right, let's move on to our next one. All right, what are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna just have to do cold snap. Oh, why did I? Um, come on. Gonna be a good one, let's see. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, here's another one similar. Again, this is a trapezoid, so the other shape on here that's a trapezoid is letter C, and you can remind your teacher that these are congruent. And they're congruent because it's the same shape and the same size. If we did something called a translation and slid it down, we would get the same shape. Translation is what you're going to learn in eighth grade. Look at you learning about translations in third grade. All right. Um, well, we got to do this one week to water, of course. Drench that little guy out. Um, we're not going to pet rescue because we're not a member. Let's see. You know what? I'm still going to go. Trench. Big trench. All right, let's see what we're going to do next. Oh, the enemy is going for us. I think we're going to win this battle. What do you think? I think so. Um, you know, we'll try Starbit. That little guy looks so sad. I'm sorry that we have to defeat you, but it's just how it is. Time for us to do one more question. Okay, now we're moving on from quadrilaterals and four sided 2D shapes to five sided 2D shapes. So a pentagon, which is what we're looking for, is a shape that has five sides and five angles. Now, in third grade, almost all the pentagons you're going to see are going to be called regular pentagons, meaning all the sides are the same. But here's a hint. As long as there is five sides, one, two, three, four, five, it is still a pentagon, okay? Five sides, five angles. If the five sides and five angles are exactly the same size, so same sides are congruent. So we, if we have congruent angles and congruent sides, then it's called a regular pentagon, okay? So again, you probably don't need to know that till middle school, but I'm just teaching you now, because why not? Pentagons have five sides, okay? A seven-sided figure, a six-sided figure is a hexagon, a seven-sided figure is a septagon, eight-sided figure is an octagon, lots of gons. Polygon is the name for a multi-sided figure, okay? So that's kind of um, why we end in gon, it's like a figure. So the first part of the word is the number of sides. All right, I feel like doing another battle. Let's keep working on these um, special shapes. Actually,
actually, we'll stop here. See you soon.